All right, I have Georgie Karakanyan back on the show now, who's going to be facing Adam Piccolotti next on February the 19th at Bellator 274. Georgie, how are you? Good, brother. How are you guys doing? How are you doing? I'm doing good, man. And it's almost fight night. It'll be here before you know it. How's this camp been? It looks like you're there getting some work in right now. It's been good. Yeah, I just finished training right now uh, with uh, Coach Greg. Uh, it's been good. It's been going really good. I didn't take any time off for my last fight. And I just been grinding like always. Any new wrinkles to the uh, to the training this time? Any new partners, or pretty much business as usual for you? No, I had a bunch of new uh, partners. Uh, uh, for this one, I use uh, Jackson Nagai. He's a high level check mat black belt, and I was sparring with Jalen Turner for about seven weeks. And man, that guy Jalen is a great, great fighter. So. Uh, uh it was a good humbling camp i love it yeah you have the tarantula in there so is, is, is stylistically is he similar to, to adam and, and he lengthwise i know jalen is is tall and long is that what you're you know bringing him in here for this this matchup i know i mean in generally i would uh i would spar with jalen but th th this camp like first of all he's a softball he's, he's not like adam is a conventional but uh I uh, I like Jalen. To me, he's like the 55 uh, pound version of Israel Adesanya. Uh, very good. I mean, this kid is is really good. And and to me, I love using fighters that push me. Uh, the first three weeks wasn't fun going with Jalen. I was like, fuck, it's Monday. I gotta spar him again. So, but then slowly I got used to it. And then talking about uh, Jackson, the guy, he's a uh, Great, the, the, their, twin bro their twin brothers, the Jackson brothers, very high level black belts, uh, black belt judo. So it was good, man. I got my ass whooped the whole camp, so it's good. All right, they say iron sharpens iron. So I'm sure you're yep. just leveling up right there. I did want to ask <laughs> you too, I, I know your, your friends and, and training partners are, you know, you used to be a, a, at least with uh, Sayed Awad. Have you talked to him since his last fight? I'm just curious, you know, where his head's at. Yes, I actually was there watching his fight. Uh, in phoenix uh wasn't happy the way it it, it ended but uh, uh he, he's doing good uh, he loves uh, uh texas he loves 47 may the whole crew and uh, coach safe uh he likes it out there so i'm, I'm really happy for him uh, i'm just looking forward for his next fight man so uh yeah can you just kind of put me in the mind of a fighter like you know yourself or, or a wad you know after you suffer a loss like that you know how much time do you need? I know, I know it's going to vary from, from fighter to fighter, but I know it's going to be a little bit of a process to, to come back, to get back in the gym, because, you know, that's going to affect your psyche a little bit. Like what, what do you do when, when that happens? I know you're coming off that loss to uh, Rogers recently, but you know, a, a knockout loss like that, like how different is that? Uh, I think the way I look at it is if you, if you're coming off of a, uh, any loss in MMA, uh, you, you got to dig deep. But, I mean, it is hard to come off, come back from a, 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 a knockout loss. But I think me and Syed been there. We've done this. And this is nothing. You know, you just got to get up and just keep going forward. I mean, uh, who would have thought I would lose in eight seconds to AJ McKee? And then it's a horrible fucking feeling. You don't like, I mean, as a man, you don't like it. You don't like that feeling. But it's part of the sport. And... It's during those times you got to like, during those times it either breaks you or makes you. So to me, uh, even if they kill me, I'm going to wake up and keep fighting. So that, that, that's just the mentality I have. And I think that's how everyone should be. Very well said. I've always been a big fan of, of Sayad. I, I enjoy interviewing him. So I was sad to see the, the fight play out like that but i have no doubt he'll be back let's talk yeah. about about your last fight as i mentioned earlier you had that uh ud loss to, to saul rogers what's the takeaway from that one moving forward i mean i mean nothing i mean the kid did a good job just laying and praying uh, on me uh big john told me he was pretty strong and i and i give it to him he was strong but uh if i was in a good a wrestling shape it would have been a short night for so i mean uh even though Saul came off a victory, how come he's not fighting? Because he's not excited. And uh, in this sport, I think, especially right now in MMA, exciting fights, exciting fighters are always going to stay busy. And uh, 
yeah, he, he got the win, but uh, like, I, I, to me, when, when fighters do something like that, I, I look at them as pussies, you know? So I, I look at Sal as a pussy. Even when the fight was over, he was very happy that the fight was over. And you could tell that smile. He was just very happy that he didn't get knocked knocked out or nothing but uh i like i said i didn't take any time off after that fight i just came back into training that's what i always do is that a rematch you're interested in would, would you like to, to get back in there and put him out or do you not even care to get back in there with him i if, if it comes in the road i would love to i would love to go to england and beat him up uh but i mean there's few rematches i would like to get the miles jury rematch there's a good good one you know but yeah if, 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 if it could come to me, um, obviously I'll take it. All right. So you said you hopped right back into training uh, after that fight. What has life been like for you outside of training in the cage? Any Anything, uh, new, new hobbies or anything that you've been doing that you can tell uh, the people that follow you out there about? New hobbies? Uh, just, I mean, I'm, my, my schedule is pretty busy. I have three kids. I have my own gym. So uh, uh, Monday came, I was back into training back into teaching. Uh, I mean, I said this before, like with martial arts, you cannot take any days off. Uh, uh, so I'm blessed to have a gym here in Riverside uh, and just be teaching, you know, just keeping my mind busy. Okay, fair enough. Now the fight again, February the 19th, Bell Tour 274. This is going to be a lightweight bout, 155. What's the weight at right now? Are you pretty much on par? Yeah, the weight is pretty good. I'm like 170. This morning, uh, weight is really good. I'm right on track with everything. Uh, I wish I was fighting this week, though. <laughs> <laughs> so this, this is going to be at the Mohegan Sun in, in Uncansville, Connecticut. When do you actually head out? When, when, and who will be uh, there in your corner come fight night? Yeah, I head out Monday. I head out Monday to Connecticut. Uh, this morning, we did a COVID test. So uh, Monday, we're going to get there, do more COVID tests, and then quarantine. Uh, my corners are the same. My head coach, uh, Romy Aram, and then my training partner, Arnold Jimenez. And I know Connecticut's a hall, man. That's the other side of the country from where you're at. Do you like the Mohegan Sun? Did, did you like – oh, I lost you there. No, can you see me? Yep, I got you now. Yep. Do, do you like that venue? Do you like the Mohegan Sun venue? I love the venue. I, I'm cool with the commissioner. I know a lot of people don't like the commissioner. I'm cool with them. Uh, I just don't like the flight over there. It takes you – literally the whole day to get there um but i fought there uh uh two years ago a lot during the when the covid started and all that stuff so uh i'm glad i went through that experience because it just i just feel bad for <laughs> because i cook in my room i i take all the stuff with me so i turn my room into a kitchen so <laughs> i think they get pretty upset but man i gotta do what i gotta do <laughs> Yes, sir. Make sure you bring your, your warm clothes. You're coming to my neck of the woods. It's uh, free. Oh, is it cold out there? Oh, it's cold, man. You bring your hoodies and jackets. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's not going to be fun. All right. Okay. All Let's right. talk about your opponent, Adam. He's coming off that split loss to Sydney Outlaw. How do you like this matchup for yourself? I love this matchup. Me and him were supposed to fight a long time ago. Um, it didn't go through. I think he had some shoulder injury. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's a good fight. For both of us, uh, I'm gonna go out there do my thing. He's gonna try to do his thing, but I like to keep a standing man. Uh, but wherever the fight goes, I'm I'm gonna be very happy. What are you expecting from him? Like, do you feel like he's gonna have a game plan to keep this standing or get you to the ground? Like, stylistically, what kind of a matchup uh, do you think is gonna happen? Uh, it's all gonna start his standing, uh, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep a standing. But there's something happens to these 55ers when they see my striking, they don't like it. So, and um, I, I like I've been saying, I've been sparring with Jalen, uh, good striker. So uh, I, I want to make it an exciting night for all the fans and Mohegan Sun. And, you know, uh, I want to, I like it's with me, there's no, I'm going for finish. Like, there is no like cruise three rounds, this, that. I'm going to go for finish. Does it go the distance? Do you think you get the finish? No, I'm going to get the finish. I'm, I've been training hard to get the finish. My whole camp has been around finish, finish, finish. I can easily beat him by decision. Easy, easy, like very simple. But 
I want to uh, get close to the title. And that's the only way you can get to close to the title. You have to have finishes. Bellator does not like boring fighters. And this is to all the fighters that like to hold the legs and hug. But Bellator is not a fan of uh, boring fights or boring fighters. And, you know, that's why I'm fighting here. All right, Georgie. Well, it's always a pleasure to watch you compete, man. Again, February the 19th, Bellator 274 at the Mohegan Sun. Georgie Karakanyan and Adam Piccolodi in a lightweight bout. Before I let you go, I want to give you the floor. Tell people where to follow you on social media. If you have anyone to thank, the floor is yours. Yeah, social media. It's my Instagram and Twitter is Georgie MMA. Uh, thanks to everyone who supports me. I appreciate you guys, and thank you for having me on your show, brother.